So today I'll be teaching you guys how to make a Minecraft server. It's probably the easiest way to make a Minecraft server. It's better long term and the way to do it is just beneficial to you. And overall, it's just the easiest, fastest way I know. And yeah, let's, so let's get to it. So we're going to be using the open source project called Puffer Panel. And it's basically an alternative to Terad Teradactyl, which is another game uh, server management panel type of thing. But what's good with this one is it's not really that advanced like Teradactyl. And it's more, how would I say, it's more simplified for uh, a basic user. And there's two ways you could do this to install. It would be through Docker if you know what Docker is. But today we're going to be using a VPS or dedicated server. And there's all the versions it allows. But basically, what you need open on your VPS would be 8080 ports, which is basic when you install Nginx or Apache. Apache, I think. That's how you say it. And SFTP should come default too. The installation process is very simple. Me and my friends wanted to create a server to play some survival, and I didn't want to go through all the process of just downloading some jar file for the version and all that stuff, all that jazz. So I did some research and I found this puffer panel, and it's probably the easiest. I did like I installed it in like three, three, four steps, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. But before we start installing puffer panel, we need a VPS. So I'm gonna be using jink.host. And right now we're running a 50% off budget servers that we just released. So if you guys want to use it, you guys can go for it. If you guys want to just, you know, do a discounted first month and test out if it's good for you or not. But anyway, I created my, you know, temporary account and I'm going to get started and buy myself the Chrome VPS. I think your your chrome or iron is enough or even the copper copper plant should be enough for you or if you want like you know two three or four friends in there but keep in mind if you guys are going to be exploring too much like exploring a lot the processor the cores you're going to need a little bit more cuz that when you explore you guys generate chunks and that takes up a little bit of CPU power okay but we're going to go for the 22.04 According to right here, it supports it. So 22.04, then I'm gonna hit continue. All right, once you order, it'll take like five, maybe 10 minutes for the server to go up and running. But as you can see, it's active. So we're gonna go into it. And it's just, yeah, right now it's setting up. So just let it set up, let everything load up. And in the email, we'll send you a password, the IP address, and I'll show you guys how to access the server. Uh, through SSH as required right here. So as you can see, I've already logged in, but to get started, you would just do SSH space root, the use, that's the username, and then the at symbol, and then the IP address of the server, which will be sent in your email, of course. And then it will ask, if you're, if you're logging in for the first time, it will ask for a fingerprint to save your login, hit yes. And then it would ask for the password, which would be in the email. So once we're in, we're just going to run a few commands. sudo app.get, I mean dash get uh, upgrade. Okay, this will just upgrade a few things that are on the server. And then sudo app-get uh, update. And this will update the Ubuntu, the server, basically. Just let that run through. All right, that's finished. Now we can get to the juicy part. So all you need to do is copy right here, paste it in, hit enter, and just let it install. It should take about five minutes, maybe, maybe less, not sure, but just let it install. Now that it installed, we need to add an admin user. So just copy this right here, hit paste, and then enter, and it'll ask for a username. So let's just do Forbes and then email test at email.com. Doesn't really matter. You can actually put your real email in, but I mean, up to you. 
and then password. So we'll just do a quick password right here and confirm. Okay. And it'll ask if you want it to be an admin or no. So that's this is what's good. You can add your friends to it and then make them not an admin or you can make them an admin. That's completely up to you. So I'm going to hit yes because I want to be an admin and the user was added. And now we start the panel. All right. So paste that in, hit enter. Now that we have just enabled the panel and it's up and running, we can go ahead and type in the IP address and then whatever these called, I have no idea. Type in 8080 and there we go. We're up and running. Let me just change, change it to dark mode. Okay, so we would do the email that I just added for the user and then the password and we're in. Now that we're in, we go to import, we go to templates, click templates, and then click import template. And from here, what's good is puffer panel already has a few templates in. And the good thing, that's why I said this is long term. You can do CSGO servers, seven day, days to die, ARC. Um, you can even host Discord bots. That's completely up to you. Uh, 5M, you know, all of this, Bedrock, Minecraft, and everything. There's a lot. But for now, let's just do Minecraft. And I'm just going to do a vanilla server, obviously. And, oh shoot, Minecraft vanilla. And then just hit import templates. It'll take like a few seconds to import. There we go. Now we're going to go to servers, create a server, select the vanilla, use this template, and then name it. So I'm just going to use how to make a server. Oh my gosh, I can't spell. And obviously we're gonna be using the local node, which is where the panel is installed. You can, if you have more uh, VPS servers or a dedicated server, you can create a second node, which basically uses a different server. Anyway, I'm, I'm a little, I'm yapping around here. So we did that, hit next right username select oh shoot select <laughs> select this uh, well it's selected by default but that's basically like the admin that's going to be of the server all right hit the U, uh, eula agreement right and the ip port that you want to bind it to is the server ip port so 87.121.69.70 and java version 70 it comes pre-installed with Java version, so you don't have to install it, okay? And then the amount of RAM you want to give it. So I would say, so we purchased the Chrome. I would just give it the full eight, eight RAM. So since 1024 is the basic, or is one gigabyte, we would do just times eight. There you go, we have the eight gigabytes of RAM. Copy it, paste. And then you could change this if you want, but I'm just going to leave a default and the port. You could change this to whatever you want, but I'm going to keep it at default to 5565, which is the default and the latest version of Minecraft right there. I think you could change it to like 1.16.5 and it'll do the that version. But for now, I'll just have it latest. Okay. And then hit create. Now. The important part is nothing will happen until you click the install button. So it's a little, a little bit glitchy, but go ahead and refresh, hit install, and then it will download the Java 17, install the server, and then set everything up for you. All right, now the server's installed. Now that the server was installed, we can just, I'm just going to hit a quick refresh and then go ahead and start the server. And it should do this a whole bunch of snazzy jazzy stuff. Okay, just wait for it to start. All right, it's almost done here. Okay, so now we have the IP right here. That is the server IP that you can join and all your friends can join. So we'll head to Minecraft, hit, hit multiplayer, add server, or you can do direct connection, which I will, because I'm gonna remove the server anyway. So go ahead, join the server. There we go. Server is up and running, see? Simple as that, okay? Everything's set up for you. 
and if you ever need to op yourself you could just go right here commands and then you type in op yt and there we go and um operator okay i know it's a little bit of a long video but i just wanted to explain the simple simple steps but once you get this down servers up and running and long term wise you could just easily upgrade to the latest server version through right here through the panel and host you can also host other games that's completely up to you you can also host multiple servers have different worlds you know interconnect and it doesn't even have to be vanilla it can be modded it can be uh forge fabric bedrock up to you completely up to you as you can see we're in and all that snazzy jazzy okay and the good thing about it is it also has the statistics so you can see where see as you can see the, the cpu usage was was went hay, haywire because that's when you first joined the server and you know it's a steady over a little bit over and over but memories cooling now we're here you can also create a user if you guys want add a user give him all these permissions you know add your friends and one more thing so when you want to you can also edit the files right in here but as you can see the sftp you can just download any app like uh win S scp that will give you the option to you know access the server and see all the files through you know easier way and you can download all the files or you can download or edit in here completely up to you. but as you can see it says local host 5657 so we're going to need to fix that. You're going to have to go to settings over here, localhost, and just type in the IP address of the panel 69.70. Okay. Go ahead and save. And I would just check this box off to not allow users to register themselves onto the panel. Just go ahead and save. It's as simple as that. And if you guys want, of course, jink.host running, is running a 50% off their vps their budget vps so you guys can go ahead go on their purchase if you want this is the end of the video i hope i helped you out create your minecraft server and furthermore help you out in the future if you guys want to host other games but i'm out